Hello again, this is John. I'm pleased to introduce you today to the integration of Adobe Stock in the latest version of Photoshop Elements. Places we can access this is from the file menu by just simply choosing Search on Adobe Stock. There are also three other ways of accessing this in different workflows. Um, in the advanced mode from the graphics button, um, bottom right here, and if you choose background, um, backgrounds, you'll see the ST button appears to, to search for backgrounds and templates on Adobe Stock. In the guided mode under special edits, we can use the replace background, and again you'll see the ST button to add stock items. Finally, under the Create tab, you can choose Quote Graphic, and again, the, um, the ST button will appear to add these assets to your projects as backgrounds um, or to search for photos of a particular type. Let's look at the File menu and choose Search on Adobe Stock, and it brings up this um, dialog, and you can say, see straight away that we have various types of backgrounds to include in our in our projects abstract card backgrounds solid colors and nature but we can also type in a word and so i'm going to just type in um, soccer and see what um, soccer photos are available and straight away um, you can see we have um, we have several here i'm going to choose this one and then if i click the button license for free um, that um, photo will open in the editor and I can save it. If I just click on save, it will save it to a system file. But I like to save it to one of my own folders, so I always choose save as. That's just a little little tip for you. So let's try searching for something different. This time I'm going to type in the word beach and press return and it quickly finds um, Lots of different um, types of beach. I think I like this new this this kind of tropical beach. So I'll select that one and click license for free. And it takes a few seconds to open up in the editor editor. And I'm going to save that to my hard drive. So that's using the integrated Adobe stock from the file menu. Um, Adobe sells millions of assets on Adobe stock every year. But it also has a large section of free items, and I hope you will find using this feature very helpful in your creations and your projects. I have a small Christmas greeting, which I'm going to take into the guided mode, and under special edits, use replace background. And um, we start by selecting the subject, and the artificial intelligence does a good job of automatically selecting the bird. I'm going to use the quick selection choose and make sure in the file options that I have it set to add. And I want to include this um, this leg and the and the branch. And let's just get the branch included. I'm doing this very roughly as you can see and very 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 quickly just for the purpose of this tutorial you'll be able to spend a lot more time um, perfecting your um, selection but I think that will do for now and um, what I can do is uh, choose the background from Adobe stock so let's just type in Christmas and see what we can um, see what we can find and I'm looking for something snowy perhaps that the um, the robin will fit fit into and so we've got lots of um, lots of choice here to um, to go with for um, Christmas I think I'm going to choose this one and click license for free and with the integrated um, stock from Adobe, you can see it's completely changed the composition and we've got a nice new greeting card 
and um, I can add some text, Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas. So there we have Adobe Stock uh, for you. And um, let's just look at a reminder of the different ways you can access it from the file menu, from the advanced mode, from the guided mode, and from, quote, graphic. Um, I think this is a great new feature for um, the latest version of Photoshop Elements. And hopefully you'll have lots of um, fun searching for, um, for free stock. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye for now. See you next time. Thank you.